video to show you my 3D printers. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about my collection of 3D printers so I thought I'd give you a little guided tour. So this is the Black Widow, my latest 3D printer and I've just been trying to fix an extrusion problem at to file down the motor bracket. So hopefully that's going to be a lot better now. Seems to be printing. I don't know if the extrusion's any good just yet. We'll soon see. And uh, that blue part is a filament fan. I've got to fit the fan yet, which is over there, ready to go on. You can see my uh, collection of alcohol there. And uh, that's the existing power supply, the power supply that came with it. I've got a mean well ready to go on there. So around here, we have the Australian printer, which as you can see, has had a fair amount of maintenance done. It's uh, had lots of changes, lots of modifications, lots of ABS parts printed. It's printing quite well now, now that it's got a manual end stop. That's been the solution to the remainder of the problems. That's one of my Octopi units. I use Octopi for all of my printing. It allows me to view from remote and control it without having to be in the room. Here's my Prusa Mark II. That's a great printer. I've done absolutely nothing other than build that thing. And uh, obviously that's a new spool holder because the one that comes with it wasn't really good for hatchbox filament spools and I can fit two onto that so that's great and this is my favorite printer it prints wonderfully and as you can see I've got my IKEA enclosure here I've done lots and lots of modifications to this and you can see that in an article I'll put that in the description down below this is my ABS printer most of the time and you can see I've got my cleverly mounted temperature monitor which is an ESP8266 and that allows me to remotely monitor the temperature. This is my second printer that I ever got, my printer bot Simple Metal. I don't really use it very much. It's got a broken sensor and of a heated bed to install so that'll get built back up in due time and I'll show you the worst printer I've ever had that is the Makey box and that's going to be parted out as you can see it uses lead screws for the motion I think that's quite nice so I'm going to try using those lead screws for something but not as a Makey box it's a terrible printer don't buy one that's all for now <laughs> Oh, no, no, no.